I have been wanting to start filming again for a really long time actually and just recently I bought makeup again for the first time in a year, maybe more and that is what finally gave me the spark to actually go through with it but it's not planned it is Friday night it is currently 6.45 in the evening and I got home from work got in the shower got out and just thought let's do it and I just don't know what to say it's been so long and it's I know I said it in many videos like back in the day when I used to make them but it's so weird I feel strange to sit talking to a camera alone in a room and now not having done this for like two years maybe more it's just back to square one you see my problem is that once I get into filming it's not that hard it's the editing I filmed the last time just after New Year's Eve 2020 I remember saying in that video Happy New Year, Happy New Decade but I got about halfway through editing that video and then it just never saw the light of day again so I am hoping that this will so I'm hoping it won't be like October by the time I'm uploading it I think it's happened actually with a few videos from way back that it took like two months maybe more to actually get them up so I'm just gonna make it like the easy kind of a video that I have been wanting to do for a long time and the kind of video that I myself love watching a good old-fashioned favorites video so it's like a favorites from the past couple of months up to the past year that I've been using not on a daily basis some of it I have just back and forth over the past six months to a year some of them are even newer favorites than that and some are some really old-school favorites that I've been used for years I have some skincare, some hair care, and makeup. And I'm pretty sure that there are things that I have forgotten about because I just kind of grabbed from my shelves whatever I have been using and love for the past year. So I guess I'm just gonna get into it. I did film like a little bit using my favorite makeup items. This look itself has been my pretty much go-to. I have not been doing a whole lot of makeup this past year, but what I have, this is pretty much what I've been doing. Sometimes I have been like smoking up a little bit for, you know, dinners and whichever, but yeah, this is, this is it. <laughs> also, welcome to my channel or I highly doubt it but maybe welcome back with all that said I am just gonna jump right into it and see where we land so let's get started <laughs> so I want to start with let's do hair care actually we do hair first then skin then makeup because there's most in makeup and not as much in hair and a moderate amount in skincare. I'm gonna start with this one right here. This is by the brand West Labs. This is their soothing shower wash with Dead Sea Salt Minerals and it does just all kinds of good. I have some bath salts from them as well and really they should be in this video too because they are incredible. I have very sensitive skin. I've always had very dry skin and eczema. Regular soaps can be very harsh, drying and excruciating really. I have used like body oils and cleansing oils. This one works and I love that and I need that. On their website it does say that they are the number one trusted mineral salts brand in the UK. I don't know if that's true or not, but we're gonna take them at their word for now. I haven't tried anyone else's. All of their products are 100% natural, 100% recyclable, 100% cruelty-free and 100% vegan. I don't really know anything about ingredients and things like that. I just know what I like. I like this one. It has like 
small soft pieces in it it's not exfoliating at least I don't think it is but it feels really good it's not overly perfumed it has a very nice scent to it it's like a not a spa scent but it's clean and it's simple and I would highly recommend anyone that has dry skin or delicate skin skin that don't really can't handle fragrance I can mention the bath salts that I have the reviving one that is the Epsom bath salt I have this one in the bath salt version which is Dead Sea Salt and I also have the Himalayan bath salt and that is the one that I'm using the most and it is incredible that one is kind of exfoliating I don't know if it's supposed to be all the dead skin on your body will just dissolve basically it's pretty disgusting but also pretty amazing but we're gonna stay in the shower category and we're gonna move on to the little hair care that I have these are by the brand continue I'm not sure how to pronounce it actually it's not really continue but it's continue it is by a Swedish brand it is made and developed in Sweden which is amazing since I live here closely produced and this is ah, words let's start with this one this is the first step and it is basically like a scrub and it feels kind of I don't know like a sandy kind of scrub but quite thick this is the BHA sensitive scalp exfoliator it's incredible and I used this before shampoo I'm struggling I used to at least know what to say once I was able to talk to the camera. This is... <clears throat> this is hard. It does have some kind of like pre-wash, I think at least. Because once you use the shampoo afterwards, it foams like on a whole different level. Whole new level of shampoo foam. <laughs> This one right here is the Hyaluronic Acid Recovery Mask. I use this in between shampoo and conditioner. That too is really nice. I don't use this as often, which I probably should because my hair and my new job, it gets so dry. Mm, it needs some love. So this one is really great for that. And they have everything like from masks to scrubs to oils to shampoos, conditioners. They have it all, everything for hair. Like a lot of their focus is like a healthy scalp leads to healthy hair and I feel like there is some truth to that. They are made and manufactured here in Sweden. They are vegan. I, mean, I am sure there are other hair care brands that does this as well. What this brand does is that they put a lot of ingredients that you see in skincare, they put them into their hair care products. AHA and BHA acids, charcoal, hyaluronic acids and so on and so forth. The boost that you want to give your face with these ingredients, they give you the opportunity to give that boost to your hair as well, which I really like. I mean, they have a lot of different things. It, it is like a uh, fairly new. And they have a lot of different things. They have like something called bamboo refreshing shampoo. They have aloe vera scalp shampoo, vitamin E lightweight conditioner, hyaluronic acid moist shampoo, reptiles repair conditioner. They have overnight treatments, they have hair masks, vitamin B5 volume mousse, a whole bunch of stuff. It's a lot of this right now. <laughs> I gotta close. I told you this was not planned and I'm sitting here filming in a robe. Not planned. But it happened. <laughs> I just started filming after coming out of the shower and I just put this on. It happens kind of comfortable actually <laughs> I'm gonna move on to a product that I have been absolutely loving it's by IGK it is their antisocial overnight bond building mask it's incredible I'm almost almost out of it too there's just something about this one it's not a dry shampoo and it's not like a hair mask well, that is a hair mask it's a dry hair mask it just does something to your hair overnight I always put it on the night that I have newly washed hair because I don't wash my hair that often because it just falls off like crazy falling off 
But whenever I have newly washed hair, I love using this. It makes it so soft and so silky and not shinier per se, but shinier in some way too. It feels amazing and I know I am not the only one loving this product. Next one is from this past year of washing your hands and you know disinfecting your hands has been a lifesaver. It is the Healthy Hands Stronger Nails by Vaseline. It's like no other hand cream I've ever tried. There was the one from Crabtree and Evelyn that was I love their hand creams. <laughs> I'm losing words. I love their hand creams so much, but there's only like one that I've tried and I love that scent and that was discontinued like two years ago. And then I didn't have one that I really liked because what I really liked about that one is what that it didn't stick to your hands. Like it actually went into your skin and everything you touched afterwards didn't get greasy. And this is the same. You need so little. This one is going to last me forever. It is just incredible. It says it's a jelly. I don't know. It's with carotene which is good for your nails, it's good for your hair. And it does say that 10 times stronger nails in two weeks. I don't know, 10 times stronger, but definitely stronger. I have been using this one a lot and my nails are fragile and they hate my work and they pretty much hate me, I think as well. But this one, along with my hair skin nail supplements that I'm taking has done wonders. Wonders, I tell you. This is incredible. It really sinks in. It doesn't stay sticky. It doesn't grease all over your stuff. And it's not what we just want in a hand lotion. The non-greasy. You can just get on with your day. And not feeling like you can't touch things. Moving on to cleansers. These are newer favorites. I love all of these. They are by the brand Lumine. Nothing new. This is the newest one that I've discovered. So this is their Nordic Hydra Arctic Aqua Foaming Cleanser. Contains organic birch sap, arctic spring water. Doesn't that sound good? Lumine is a very... I don't know, I feel like many people know what they're about. It's not that like... Their skincare, their makeup. But they're not like the extreme, they're very subtle. But I feel like they focus more on like beauty from within and their makeup is just made to enhance that beauty radiating from within. And even though I have not been able to use this for more than two weeks, just about, I have a new job and really all of my jobs in the past has been kind of dirty, dry air, dusty, and my new job is nothing new. And when I get home, a gray cast all over. You just want it off. And I have been using other cleansers that I like as well. But the first time I tried this one, it was just different. Somehow, it was incredible. I felt like it purified and cleansed deeper. On those days, I used it along with my Clarisonic, which also should be in this video because I love that one so much but I think I featured it multiple times before so still using that one old fame my next step is this one this is their Nordic Sea clear glow cleansing gel scrub I don't use this one as a cleanser I use it as a scrub it is a very gentle scrub you don't use this as an exfoliating scrub it's more just like I don't want to say soothing in a way, if the scrub can be soothing. It feels really nice and it doesn't leave you like since maybe it is because my skin is so sensitive that with most scrubs it like leaves your skin feeling like it's been burned. And that is why I like this one so much because it doesn't give me that feeling. It just leaves a nice smooth surface. After that comes toner. And this is their soothing toner for sensitive skin with Nordic bilberry water. And it is fragrance free. 
This one I have been using for about two months, I think. Completes your cleansing ritual and helps to reduce dryness induced redness and uncomfortable feeling. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Clinically tested for rehydrated skin for a calm and comfortable feel. Fragrance free formula suitable for sensitive skin. Yes. I really like this one and I like that it's fragrance free. Yeah, it's nice. I think all of these products pair really nice together. Maybe that is because they are from the same brand. I think these are from the same like line, Nordic Hydra, and this is from the Velo Nordic Sea. And I love this spray. It's also the Nordic Sea. This is the Glow Refresh Hydrating Mist, which will really be in here as well. I use this one a lot. I have two bottles right here. I use this one a lot when doing my makeup, like in between layers, to really hydrate the skin. Not so much in the summer, but in the winter time. This gives an incredible hydration and a really nice glow. Just a little guest appearance. All right, so those are those three. Next step in skincare. This is from Biotherm. Biotherm. It is their Aquasaurus Deep Serum. I have used this one for, I don't know, like maybe two or three years. And I love it so much. And now it is so just empty. I think I have like maybe two or three nights left that I can really push out of it. It is incredible. It really gives you not an iridescent look, it feels really smooth on the skin and it does give you a nice glow. What I have been starting to do in just the past couple of weeks is that when I put this one on, I mix it with the lactic acid from The Ordinary and these two together on me has paired really well. And yeah, I think that is basically why this one is in the video. I really, what I really, really would like to get is the lactic acid from Sandy Riley. I got a tester of that one a couple of years back and that is what made me fall in love with the lactic acid. I don't know if it's a highly concentrated in the Sandy Riley one, maybe, but this one more than just a couple of drops, my God, it burns. It does actually say that you should until your skin is used to it, like mix it in with your other skincare routine, reduce very little of it until your skin is kind of built up in endurance to it, which might be weird, I'm not sure, but I do like it. I do. Otherwise, it would not be here. Next up is something that I would say goes a little bit in between makeup and skincare. It is this one, the Matcha Lip Balm from Winky Lux. I have two currently at home, I have like dug this one out so far. There is nothing left in here. Well, there is a little bit. I love these so much. And I have not found another lip balm that is, can even compare. I always use this one underneath any sort of lip product that I'm putting on because, because this will keep your lips hydrated under matte lipsticks all day long. And I absolutely love it. All right, moving on to the most fun parts, makeup. So the first product that I will show in this, this is technically skincare, but I only use it with my makeup. So this is, this is why I'm putting it in this category. It is also by the brand Biotherm, Biotherm, with a Biotherm in Sweden. This is their Aqua Pure Super Concentrate. And this is incredible. I use this in winter, I use this in summer just to give that skin a little bit of extra boosted hydration. I, mean, I don't have very oily skin. If you had oily skin, don't use this in the summer, I would say. But for me, like dry to ish normal, I guess. But using this one, I use it with, along with my primer. Sometimes I mix them, sometimes I put this first and then the primer. Sometimes I just like this one primer, mix them and put it on. It depends on the primer that I'm using. I don't know if it does anything for actually like extending the life of your makeup throughout the day. I think like that's more the primer's job, but it does something. It, I find that, I don't know, I, I do find like some difference if I for some reason would not use this. I, I just feel like there's some kind of difference in the way the complexion looks when it's done. I think, and I'm pretty sure this is the case, 
just because this adds that extra bit of hydration like right before you put your makeup on it just feels like you get a smoother finish a more juicy finish juicy is not the right word i think like you get that like more healthy looking complexion i think you get the gist of it my favorite primers i have a couple of different ones that i have been alternating between the ones that i use today was the becca first light priming filter it really brightens and it gives you a healthy glow underneath which i like i don't like the matte i do brightening illuminating primers and ambient powders in summer as well even if there is a sweaty day if i ever do my makeup on a sweaty day which I usually don't, but still, it happens. Other primers that I have been loving this past year has been both the Origins Original Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer. I hunted for this primer for so long. I went to Cakes and I looked online and they said, yeah, no, we don't have it anymore. Maybe they have discontinued it. I really wanted this primer. I'd been looking at it for so long but not buying it. So when I finally found it in the store, I, mean, I, I couldn't grab it fast enough. So I've been loving this one. It is really nice. It's a moussey kind of a formula and it is cooling. And that is nice on those sweaty day makeup days. Another one is my high end, my highest of the highest end that I have at least. It is the Brightening Makeup Base by Sensei. This primer is just magic. It is brightening, but not as brightening as this one is because, you know. This, however, it just, it feels expensive, <laughs> which I, I, it's nice. That is nice. I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't feel like much on the skin. It feels very lightweight, but it gives you a very smoothing, it's not tacky, it's, it's smoothing, it's very, it feels like a kind of a matte finish to it. And yet, it makes your makeup last so long and it looks so gorgeous. Love this one. And when I'm running out of it, I'm gonna be sad and I might just repurchase it. So the next item is one by Urban Decay. It's the Naked Skin Shapeshifter Palette. This is one that I bought probably way too long ago, but it has not given me problems, so, you know, I'm just gonna keep using it. I have been loving lately this like this year i've really been getting into cream products i don't have i think this is like the only cream product that i do have and i love it i use it along with this little guy here it is by the brand course it's the wild rose vitamin c brightening oil i think i've been using the brightest shade like as a concealer back in the day but as a concealer, it will crease. The contour shades, like using it, the contour, it will last you all day long. I have also been using this shade right here. It's the lighter of the two bronzer contour shades. I have been liking a little bit more cool tone lately. This one is still a little bit too warm toned for my liking, but I do like it, like a lot. I do like it a lot and it looks really pretty. It might just be this light and it might look horrible in the camera or in daylight because I made this in my really temporary setup. I have Christmas tree lights around my mirror as a makeup light and it is very yellow even though it says it should be daylight. It's not daylight, not at all. I have also contemporary <laughs> lighting with my Philips Hue light so I can like, you know, drag the coolness down a little bit to get a little better lighting for the camera. I hope it is better. Uh, what else? Okay, moving on from lighting. Next up, the Photofocus Foundation by Wet n Wild. This is one of the few foundations that I have been able to shade match myself with. I am horrible, horrible at shade matching and I don't think I have... I have like two 
foundations that actually match me. It's this one and it is this one by The Ordinary. This is their coverage foundation. This foundation is in soft ivory, mattifies and blurs pores with a shine-free finish. Buildable coverage for normal to oily skin. So me for dry skin, maybe shouldn't be using this one, but I do like it a lot. I think it is very long lasting. I don't usually set my face as much as I did today. I went a little bit heavy on the powder and the liner. And normally I don't usually wear mascara with this look because I just find it annoying to take it off. <laughs> but I did today. But it's a really nice foundation. So many have tried it. It is available pretty much worldwide, I would say. Hopefully, because it is so good. And if you haven't tried it, it's very inexpensive. It is very good. I'm not the biggest fan of the applicator. I would prefer a pump, but I'm, I can see the appeal with like just having being able to like dot it on. I don't know. I'm. I'm I'm torn. I am torn. I'm gonna fix my hair. Hmm. Better. So, from one foundation to another ish foundation. This is a new favorite, and I've been using it a lot in the short time that I have been having it. This is by Clinique. It is their Dramatically Different Moisturizing BB Gel. This is the one that is very interesting. It comes out gray and as you're working it into the skin, it changes color and kind of matches you. This is, it does get a little bit too tan for me, but it's not bad. It looks like a natural tan in a way because it's not a foundation. You don't really need to set it even. And I rarely do. And all you're gonna do is you like, don't stop like right here just bring it down the neck and onto like depending on what kind of clothes you're wearing onto the collarbone and breastplate <laughs> it is really nice and i think that because it's like a gel it is more long lasting and it is supposed to just be i mean it's not supposed to be a foundation i wouldn't say that it has coverage some ish since it is like color correcting and evens out and it gives you a little hue of color it's a very nice formula and I like it a lot I I mean I swatched this in store when it came out I don't remember when and I have been like in the back of my mind intrigued by this one ever since but I just didn't get it a couple of weeks back I went into town and that was actually like I think the first time that I truly bought makeup in at least a year and I thought, you know what, why not? I've been wanting to try this for so long and it wasn't on sale, there was no special pricing, I just got it because I wanted it, so I did. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta treat yourself, that's the truth. We're almost through, I think. Next up is the Ambient Lighting Palette by Hourglass. I love this one so much. This is probably my most used product throughout the year because I put this on with or without makeup. If I just need a little bit of a glow, I put this on. And you don't need like a primer or a foundation or a setting spray to make it last. It's just there it's very nice it is very very nice i don't know what to say really about it if you are the kind of person who there are those who doesn't want like the beaming boom on their cheeks for all the boys and girls that just want like a little bit of a sheen this is very very nice it is a little bit up there in pricing but you do get quality for what you're paying Next up is Lip Pencils by Colourpop. I have been loving, like, at the moment, like, Colourpop is my all-time favorite brand at the moment. I love everything that I have from them, and my collection 
is growing quickly. I am... It's one of my plans to do like a full video with Colourpop. Two days ago, I got a huge package that I ordered on June 6th and it finally arrived. And there was one item missing, the Sweet Talk palette that I also ordered. It's sad, but it happens. I get it. I have emailed them and I'm hoping to hear back from them soon. But now we're talking lip pencils. These are, I have more, but these are the ones that I've been using like a lot. It's, this is, which shade? 951. Then we have the shade Bumble. Oops, no, 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 no. And we also have the shade Beeper. Should I swatch them? I feel, feel like I should. I don't think that my lighting do them justice at the moment. Okay. Ooh. I just got like a nervous taint in my stomach. And I think I know why, because the next product is perhaps... <laughs> I don't want to say controversial, but it might be, but I don't care because I love this product so much and I'm wearing it on my lips today. It is by the brand Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Love her product so much. This is this little guy right here. Her lipstick. I was so happy when I was able to get my hands on two different ones. I have the shades Isla, which is the one I'm using today, and the one I'm loving the most, and also the shade Mom. <sighs> like, I have never been like a... Is it ironic to say fuzzy about makeup? Like, I don't... I don't care. I've been using them and nothing bad has happened. I mean, yeah, sure. Sometimes, on occasion, there is a little bit of fuss. The light air bubbles has not... I haven't noticed that much, actually. But if you get some fuss, it just, you know, you just take it off and it's fine. They're hydrating, they're long-lasting, they are incredible, they're beautiful. I mean, these shades are gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, just don't get me started on the packaging. I love these and I will express my love for them and I will not be ashamed by loving them. I am actually kind of upset because, I mean, I'm sure there are those who wanted to get them who was not able to get them because they sold out so fast. And I'm sure there are people who like was able to get a whole bunch of different shades and then all these like problems just surfaced and that everybody hated on them and it really upsets me because I am one of the people who still uses them to this day, love them with a devotion. I'm not able to get that many shades and those who like got multiple who may now just never use them or even throw them away <sighs> it upsets me it does because i would love love nothing more than to just have more shades of these like i would i would get every shade if i could and if they have been available they're incredible and i'm not ashamed to say it that's the truth All right, so there are three products left that I want to share with you guys and these are widely loved by so many people around the world. Like, they are incredible. They are also by Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. This guy right here, I mean. I don't think there is anything about this palette that is good that has not been said. And we of course have her luminous powders. This is the shade Brighten Up. I love this one. I'm not using it as often since I am liking this one so much. Like when you want an even extra little sheen from within. Incredible. I do have another one as well. I don't remember 
like the one that is a little bit more yellow in tone I have that one too and also incredible I do use this one more though and then of course let's not forget the loose highlighters there is no highlighter like this highlighter I mean there is no other like this show me another highlighter that is more highlighter than this highlighter this is in the shade extra and it is extra it is so extra I love it so much should we be a little extra just for the end of the video I think we should I definitely think we should put it here maybe That's a lot. I did not meant to do that. These brushes are really incredible. I already have so much highlighter on. So much more than I usually have. This is not looking good. I may have gotten the wrong brush for this. It is a highlighter. And liking highlighters or not, liking Jaclyn Hill or not, I don't think anyone can deny that, I mean, her products are so good. But fine, it is possible to not like products because they might not work with your skin or your skin tone. You might not like the consistency or you know, the formula. I am really looking forward to being able to buy so much more from her website because I want to do like a full-blown Jacqueline Cosmetics video. I love her. I love her product and I mean, so gorgeous. I think that was it. No, it was not. I forgot this one. Final step, setting spray. This is by Pixie Dehydrating Milky Mist. I find it to be very long lasting and hydrated. That's the, like, the biggest part. I want none of that dryness. I don't want my skin to feel dry whatsoever. So this one is incredible. Now we're done. That was it. It was a long video, probably. It's probably gonna be a long video. A lot of products, and not even all of them that I like. You know, you have to pick and choose a little bit. I hope whoever's watching that you enjoyed this video. I, once I actually dared start and talking to the camera, enjoyed it very much. Definitely hoping to actually get filming again because if nothing else, I need a hobby. I really do. I've been sitting at home. I watch YouTube videos. I watch Disney Plus and Netflix. I draw fantasy D&D maps and I watch people playing D&D. I've been getting really into D&D lately and it's really interesting. I don't play it myself, but I love watching people play it. It's really fun. But I also need a hobby of my own. So I know how much I enjoyed doing these kinds of videos and you know really being in the makeup and testing swatching trying playing so much and i finally feel like i am getting back to that because this past year it's been tough on everyone and like motivation has just been lacking so completely but now i finally feel enthusiastic about makeup again and about I don't know like most things in general so I really want to get back into it and I don't have much more than that to say so if you like these kinds of videos and you'd like to see more good old-fashioned favorite videos in the future maybe leave a comment letting me know I'm still at the point where I doubt myself so much that I don't think that a single soul will see this video. Probably like a soul or two, if I'm hoping. 
but I am doing it for fun and it is fun. I'm feeling giddy again because I missed it. I missed it a lot. <laughs> yeah, so um, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and maybe come back in the future. That was all for me. Did I forget to say hello? My name is Emily. Welcome to my channel if you are new, which you most likely are. <laughs> um, yeah, that was it. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.